spark of creation. Spark of creation is to remember. It's about remembering. It's about remembering going back 2500 BC, 8000 BC, to find that point or blueprint in history where there was complete balance and harmony and dignity and respect for the divine feminine and the divine masculine, the goddesses, the creator. So this is a moment in time that's been lived on this planet and we forgot that. And it's when the feminine, the womb of the feminine was honored as the chalice of creation and the male too. And so in this webinar, I'm going to go back to that time and it will help you to reset your entire system. After working with the placenta and the umbilical cord, we now have the deep root, root with Mother Earth and with our ancestors. So now I want to go back, 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 back to our ancestors who lived that time before the religions came in to go back to the origin where there was perfect balance and harmony with the feminine and the masculine. And I have a very old goddess here at the moment is from that time. So I invite you even to feel the energy because you'll feel your spirit will know what I'm talking about. So I invite you to feel the energy of this. And this is around that period. And just feel in to the feminine and masculine of that time because our spirit needs a goalpost. It needs a blueprint. And this is a period that's been lived already. This is a period that has been expressed for maybe 800 years more where there was no war. There was no need for war. This is where the feminine and the masculine were in perfect harmony. The feminine and the masculine were directly connected to the laws of creation. Honoring the planet, the ecosystem, and the laws of creation. So this is what I'd like to open up for you all is to deprogram our systems to remember when our DNA and our ancestors lived this time, when there was no separation in the system, where we were in perfect balance and harmony with nature and with each other, when the masculine was honoring the nobility of the feminine, and the feminine was honoring the nobility of the masculine. Pure balance, pure creation. So the spark of creation is about remembering. And from that remembering, we will deprogram the entire system of separation, of conflict, of war from the system. This will bring a remembrance into your system and then we can bring it into your relationship place bringing it through the DNA and allowing the ancestors who lived it, asking them for support and help to deprogram our entire system. And this is the reference point that our system can reflect to, to see how programmed we are. So this webinar is about that. It will help you remember a time that maybe you in a past life lived already and your ancestors lived where there's perfect balance and harmony and where everyone was respectful of the planet and of each other and the laws of creation. This is what I'm holding space for in this webinar. And I invite you to be part of it and you will anchor it into your life system and into your genetic system, your family system too. And then we can anchor it to everyone. It's time to remember. If you want to change what's happening in the world at the moment, you must start with yourself and change your own system. 
This for me is the key to change the entire system. This is the key to reset the entire system. This is our get out way to recalibrate the whole system back into the true connection, the true spark of creation, which is in every single one of us and to ignite it and live it. So I invite you to be part of this webinar. It's a very, very important webinar. And if you were not at the, the root, like working with the ancestral system about unity, unity with the ancestors, I'd invite you to do that as well, because that was the starting point where we went back to celebrate that we are one with Mother Earth, we are one with our ancestors, and we work as a community together. And then we work with the divine feminine, divine masculine, and balancing the systems, deprogramming the entire system, which then will deprogram the collective system. This is our way to evolve on this planet at the moment. I look forward to seeing you there.